Welcome to Postcard Perfect Sandpoint, Idaho, located on the northern shores of Lake Ponderé. This town has a thriving art community, tons of great restaurants, and it's surrounded by mountains, so there's tons of adventure. I'll be exploring it over the next few days, hitting the lake and exploring some of the nearby mountains. The first thing you'll want to do in Sandpoint is check out Lake Ponderé. And if you're a beach goer, you'll want to head to City Beach, which is a picture perfect white sand beach right in the downtown area. It has a few roped off swimming areas, playground, picnic tables, and boat launch, as well as ample parking. If you really want to experience the lake here in Sandpoint, you got to get out on it. This morning I picked up a paddleboard from Action Water Sports and I am out enjoying the lake now it's the beginning of june so the water it's still a little bit cold <laughs> i did go swimming this morning well i jumped in i should say and there's a rule here that the locals told me if you can still see snow on the mountains up there it's too early to swim so once it melts the water temperature here in the lake is perfect and over at action water sports you can rent paddle boards kayaks pontoon boats water ski and wakeboarding boats as well and they even offer lessons if you've never gone water skiing and you want to learn favorite thing so far surrounded by baby geese so cute. Summer visitors here love to paddle, water ski, fish, and swim. But if water sports aren't quite your speed, you can also head out on the lake for a wildlife or history cruise, looking for eagles and ospreys or learning about the history of the area. There are certainly a lot of ways to be able to experience this lake. Tonight, I'm actually hopping on a history cruise called the Shano Dees, and I'm excited to learn a little bit about the lake and see some of the beautiful views. Lake Ponderay is the largest, deepest, and also the cleanest lake in Idaho. It measures 43 miles long and 1,172 feet deep. And here's a fun fact, this lake has been used since the 1940s by the Navy for submarine acoustic testing because of its depths. And one more fun fact is that 60% of the lake frontage on this lake is actually owned by the National Forest Service, which means you won't see any homes along most of the shoreline. Lake activities aside, Sandpoint is also surrounded by three major mountain ranges, the Selkirk, Cabinet, and Bitterroot Ranges. With thousands of acres to explore, it's no surprise that hiking and mountain biking are popular pastimes in the area, and there are plenty of places to ride, walk, or run. One thing Idaho does really well is public spaces. And this morning I'm at the Pine Street Community Forest here in Sandpoint. This is a local's favorite for mountain biking and hiking, and I'm gonna check out some of the trails. The community forest was created from an old family farm and set aside in a land trust to benefit the community. On top of walking and biking trails, it also offers educational classes for children and adults on land stewardship, nature, and conservation. One of the other big attractions up here in the Sandpoint area is Schweitzer Mountain. This is a ski area that brings in a lot of tourists in the winter time for skiing and snowboarding. But in the summertime, you can actually come up here and mountain bike or hike. It's kind of a rainy day today, so I'm not gonna be spending too much time outdoors, but I did wanna show you guys the resort and some of the things that you can do here on a nicer day. Now they have a chairlift that opens about the third week of June that you can take up with your bikes and hike down or bike down. usually snowing you can see they're just getting everything set up here from rock climbing walls and trampolines now if you take the chairlift up in the summertime you can bring your mountain bike up you can hike down if you want you could hike up and take the chairlift down there's restaurants here and shops and lots of things to do 
And if you're coming up here in the winter, well, there's skiing, snowboarding, and all kinds of winter adventures as well. One of the most unique things I learned about Idaho so far is that Idaho actually has the most diversity in wildlife of any state in the lower 48. There are wolverine, bear, wolf, elk, and even a small population of caribou. It's actually the last known population of caribou in the entire lower 48 states. Sandpoint is full of awesome shops, and unlike a lot of tourist towns, the things you find in these stores are actually unique. Much of them are handmade, artisan crafts, and local. I have loved shopping here. I've already found so many good things, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite shops. One of my favorite stores that I've been to here in Sandpoint is actually called Burlwood Dreams. They've got metal art in here and handcrafted wood, and it is beautiful handcrafted furniture. It's made right here. Oh, just look at the little bears. Perfect for your RV. <laughs> oh my gosh, how embarrassing. One of the places all the locals have told me that I have to go is the Cedar Street Bridge. Now, this was actually built in the 1890s originally as a pedestrian bridge. It fell into disrepair and was rebuilt over the years, connecting autos and people to the train station. And in the 80s, it was actually made into what it is now, which is a marketplace, which still spans the river here and brings all kinds of people in. In the last decade, Sandpoint has been named Most Beautiful Small Town by USA Today and Best Small Town in the West to Live In by Sunset Magazine. I asked one of the locals and here's what she had to say about their little town. Well, we have an amazing lake here. And so in the summertime, there's lots to do around the lake, lots of really good hikes. And Schweitzer's open in the, in the summertime. You can ride the chairlift up. And later in the summer, there's huckleberries. And the community is amazing. People all really take such good care of each other. And uh, it's really something special living here. This thriving community also has no shortage of great places to eat, sip, stay, and be entertained. For all my recommendations, check out my blog, alicesadventuresonearth.com, in the description below. Thank you so much for coming to explore Sandpoint with me. Don't forget to drop a comment, hit that like button, smash that subscribe icon, and I will see you on the next adventure.